Hey guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to import sound effects for your animations in OpenTunes. Before we start the tutorial, if you need help or you have a question about this tutorial or OpenTunes in general, follow the link in below in my description to my Discord server. There's a room there called Questions where you can post your issue with the software and then I can provide screen captures or GIFs of my software or my interface so I can help you guys out if you need it. Also, I make a lot of tutorials like this one, so if you're new and you want to learn how you can make 2D animations for free with OpenTunes, then hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can get notified with all my new tutorials when they release. All right, so I'm going to start this tutorial off by explaining sounds in OpenTunes just a little bit before I get to the nitty gritty. Sounds like drawings go on the X sheet right here in this portion of um, the page. Now, actually, I'm in the basics tab if you're wondering. And I just got this little doggy running animation in case you guys get bored. <laughs> Sounds can actually be cut, pasted, and um, manipulated in OpenTunes just like um, you can with drawing. So they're pretty much the same thing. I think at the moment, OpenTunes only accepts WAV files and AIFF files, which I don't use. Um, but if I'm wrong about that, then definitely leave a comment if you know better, and then I'll pin it so everyone who watches the video can see it. So all you gotta do is grab your sound from File Explorer, go like this. I'm gonna use this basket opening sound I made for Castle Dark, and then place this right there, and you'll see the little copy thing come up, and ba-boom, it's already technically in here. Um, I'm going to keep the existing one, just go like that. There you go. And then ba-boom, you got sound. So you can hear it, you can play it. There you go, a little <laughs> sound. And I'm gonna give you an example of, of manipulating it. So you can drag this, you can click and drag, and scroll down and then hit delete, and then we just have that isolated sound. It's really nice how it comes up right here as a wave too, so you can actually see the sound that you're working with. There you go. Also, if you don't wanna import sound, you can actually record it within OpenTunes. Um, if you head over to Windows, scroll all the way down to Record Audio or just hit Alt-A apparently. Let's try Alt-A because I've never actually tried that before. Alt-A. Hey, it works. And you, as you can see, I have my Yeti microphone um, connected to it. You just hit this, hit this drop-down menu and select your microphone. Hit Record. Hello. And then Save and Insert. Ba-boom, you got audio. And it's really nice how this waveform picks up, so that's actually very useful. Um, they didn't have to do that, so. Hello. There you go. <laughs> it's just a little greeting. Um, so that's how that works. You can edit sound a little bit in OpenTunes, just like how you can edit um, drawings. But um, there are some tools I'm going to show you. You can have the, you have this little volume slider. Right now it's at 40. If I put it at 100, then this is going to be a lot louder. Drag that baby to 100 and play it. Yeah, so it's a, it's a lot louder. And then you can drag it all the way down to make it quieter. You guys get the gist. Like you guys know. Yeah, so it's very quiet now. Um, I'm gonna drag that back up to around 50. And then, so this bar on the side, if you scroll down, it'll play that portion that you scroll. So I can scroll and play this portion. And I can scroll and play this portion, which is silent, but which is actually really, really useful. If you click on the side right here and scrub, this is, I should get a, a, a longer sound. Let me record one real quick. Alt A and do, my name is John. There you go. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to select this, hit the delete key, drag that back up. Um, this bar on the side, you click and drag um, things with, just remember that. And if you scroll right here, yes, yeah, so you can like scrub through the audio. Um, you can do it forwards and backwards. It's actually really, really useful when you're animating. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned before, you can grab the sides of this, this little tiny um, very thin bar on the left side of each column. You can grab and drag the whole column. Um, what's nice is you can drag, I can select a portion and then drag this and separate it, which is nice. Um, so if I want to separate these, yeah, just do that. It's very, very useful. Um, so these audio tools are actually very intuitive and, um, they actually help a lot with animating, although they don't have like EQ and stuff like that and all that fancy nonsense. Um, you can get basically get stuff done. Um, but if sounds aren't playing on your software right now, um, what you want to do is hit this little music button. If I turn this off, no sounds will play. And you turn it back on. My name is John. My name is John. There you go. <laughs> My name isn't John, by the way. It's Sebastian. Um, so if you go to file and you hit preview, right, for your animation, and then you play it, and there's no sound, you gotta hit this little music button. Just remember that because that was, John. back when OpenTunes first came out, that was a very frustrating 
um, issue I had to deal with. And but for my issue, the sound button wasn't there, so that was even that was even worse. And at this point, you may be wondering where you can get WAV files. Um, you can find them online and download them. Um, you could buy them. But what I recommend, if you don't have the money for buying them or you can't find any online, is that you use Audacity because I use Audacity all the time to make my own sound effects. So like, I mean, if you wanted to make like a a water dripping sound effect, you just go like, whoop, and <laughs> Audacity. That was uh, interesting. That's what I did. Delete that portion. Um, you can select this. You can edit the sound. Um, I'm going to change the pitch down and do that. And then see, that's, a, <laughs> that sounds really weird, but, um, you can hit file after that export export as wave, and then you can put it wherever you want on your desktop. So that really helps with getting wave files into open tunes. And again, I personally use audacity for so many things. So I, that's why I recommend the software and it's completely free. So that's pretty much it. Besides this, um, if you click this right here, then it'll play the sound, this little, um, megaphone button my name is john yeah it'll play the entire sound and then you just yeah so yeah if you have long stretches of audio i don't recommend clicking that because i don't think it stops until it finishes and that can be really annoying but make sure you have this icon clicked um and that's pretty much it so that's all you really need to know about adding sounds to your open tunes animation so get out there and start animating with sound thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial video and if you want to learn how i'm making my own sounds for my 2D animated short from Castle Dark, which, by the way, is being entirely animated in OpenTunes and with free software, that's awesome, then don't hesitate to check out my Patreon page. You can gain access to the Patreon exclusive feed for as low as $1 a month, so pretty dang cheap. You can also gain access to 4K wallpapers, behind the scenes clips, snippets, and videos, along with some royalty free music for your own projects. If you don't have the cash, then you can still support the channel by liking, subscribing, and following me on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.